there here's another video by Dave Tromp and in this video uh, I would like to show you how to backtest a manual traded strategy um, first of all uh, let's go into why you would want to do this um, I believe that trading is a skill and that it can be trained by doing backtests you can of course trade it by uh, train it by um, doing forward tests or, or by actual trading but uh, by backtesting you can go through years and years of data and r um, repeat your strategy time after time after time and in this way you will train yourself uh, in executing the strategy um, moreover um, if you uh, repeat your strategy and you see that it works uh, it will make you more confident uh, in the strategy uh, that's how it works for me and I guess um, that's how it will work for most traders um, if you trade Forex there are like I do and CFDs there are uh, different platforms that you can use that I know of um, I've done backtesting uh, with MT4 uh, and I know there is Forex Tester. Um, I'm not using this because uh, I use Windows as my uh, Linux as my operating system, and uh, I can't get it to work uh, on um, my uh, computer. So uh, I have to resort to cross-platform applications like TradingView. Uh, TradingView is a web app, um, and uh, it has some great features and I use this for um, doing my back tests um, TradingView is as I said cross-platform and it's also free to use um, and there's also some features that you uh, can get if you upgrade to a pro account but uh, for back testing the uh, free account is uh, is enough so let's see how um, I uh, do this so I have TradingView open and uh, on the euro dollar uh, this is today's candle and uh, what I usually do is I go back in time let's say I go back to 10 years back 2005 let's go there yep there we are uh, so you can see it's September 2005 and um, what I then usually do is uh, for my trading strategy I use support and resistance so I just zoom out and what you if you if you I don't know if you can see it but the uh, hard right edge stays at the same place if you zoom in and out so um, this is all the data the past data and I already plotted in uh, my support and uh, uh, resistance levels so once I've done that <coughs> then I uh, click the reset button and it will bring me back to the current date and then I go back again the reason I do this is that I've noticed if I zoom in and out and move the chart by hand um, then um <coughs> the auto scaling will uh, be messed up and it will make it a little bit more difficult to uh, to properly backtest because uh the candles will otherwise go out of the screen and you have to move the chart by hand which is a pain um, but if you do it like this then it's uh, pretty easy to uh, to do the back test so here's the hard right edge and if i click forward we get the next candle uh, and i can also just use the forward um, button the arrow on my uh, keyboard which i will do now so there we go we go one candle one can this is the daily chart by the way so we're going day by day um, so I'm looking for an entry signal here I think we have a pin bar on a resistance level so that <coughs> would mean we could go short here um, so then one of the nice things uh, they have in um, trading view is they have long and short positions uh, markers so you can in this case use the short position you will I will just find my entry which is below the candle the last candle 
and I'll click here so it puts in uh, a position with a stop uh, which I will move until above the wick and the take profit I will move all the way down to the next support level okay as you can see uh, this is dark green and this is dark red um, so now if I move to the next candle let's see okay so we are triggered into the trade here and you can see that this has become light green so that makes it easier to see that we're in trade okay the trade is going our way and well let's just follow it next one next one okay almost there let's see and boom we hit our profit target and here you can see that it's dark green again so that clearly shows that we're out of the trade now so <coughs> One of the nice things they have here that I'm still playing with is they um, plot here the risk reward ratio. If I just move the chart a little bit, um, so you can see I had a risk reward here of three on this trade, uh, which is good. I usually aim for uh, two or more. Um, if I right click here and I go to format then I can see here at coordinates I can see the exact price that I got in uh, that's the stop sorry and here's the price that I got in and here's the take profit level that I got out so I can put these prices in a spreadsheet and uh, then go to the next trade and then I go through all the year or whatever time um, I would like and then um, I'll have a spreadsheet with all the trades uh, for this strategy and I can analyze this so this is how I find out uh, if a strategy is um, profitable and if it's uh, within my risk tolerance and I will build confidence and I will practice it this way and build up some skills um, that I can use in actual life trading so um, I uh, highly suggest you go check out uh, the platform uh, of tradingview.com if you haven't already and um, if you're a trader I also highly suggest you backtest your trades uh, or your trading systems um, it helped me a lot and uh, I hope uh, this video helps you um, in convincing that it's a very useful thing to do um, let me know if you like to see some more videos of other strategies that I backtest and um, you can leave that in, in the comment below and give a thumbs up if you uh, like the video and um, that's all for now and uh, see you in the next video.